Saint of the Day, Saint Pedro de San Jose Betancourt, Franciscan Media, Saint of the Day for April 26th, Saint Pedro de San Jose Betancourt's story. Central America claimed its first saint with the canonization of Pedro de San Jose Betancourt, known as the Saint Francis of the Americas. Pedro de Betancourt is the first saint to have worked and died in Guatemala. Pedro very much wanted to become a priest, but God had other plans for the young man born into a poor family on Tenerife in the Canary Islands. Pedro was a shepherd until age 24, when he began to make his way to Guatemala, hoping to connect with a relative engaged in government service there. By the time he reached the Vana, he was out of money. After working there to earn more, he got to Guatemala City the following year. When he arrived, he was so destitute that he joined the breadline that the Franciscans had established. Soon, Pedro enrolled in the local Jesuit college in hopes of studying for the priesthood. No matter how hard he tried, however, he could not master the material. He withdrew from school. In 1655, he joined the secular Franciscan order. Three years later, he opened a hospital for the convalescent poor. A shelter for the homeless and a school for the poor soon followed. Not wanting to neglect the rich of Guatemala City, Pedro began walking through their part of town ringing a bell and inviting them to repent. Other men came to share in Pedro's work. Out of this group came the Bethlehemite congregation, which won papal approval after Pedro's death. The Bethlehemite sisters community, similarly founded after Pedro's death, was inspired by his life of prayer and compassion. He is sometimes credited with originating the Christmas Eve Posadas procession in which people representing Mary and Joseph seek a night's lodging from their neighbors. The custom soon spread to Mexico and other Central American countries. Pedro died in 1667 and was canonized by Pope John Paul II in Guatemala City on July 30th, 2002, calling the new saint an outstanding example of Christian mercy. The Holy Father noted that Saint Pedro practiced mercy heroically with the lowliest and the most deprived. Speaking to the estimated 500,000 Guatemalans in attendance, the Holy Father spoke of the social ills that plague the country today and of the need for change. Let us think of the children and young people who are homeless or deprived of an education, of abandoned women with their many needs, of the hordes of social outcasts who live in the cities, of the victims of organized crime, of prostitution or of drugs, of the sick who are neglected and the elderly who live in loneliness, he said in his homily during the three-hour liturgy. The liturgical feast of St. Pedro de San Jose Betancourt is celebrated on April 25th. Reflection. As humans, we often pride ourselves on our ability to reason, but as Pedro's life shows, other skills may be an even more crucial element of our humanity than a clever mind. Compassion, imagination, love. Unable to master studies for the priesthood despite his efforts, Pedro responded to the needs of homeless and sick people. He provided education to the poor and salvation to the rich. He became holy, as fully human as any of us can ever be. Thank you for reading this blog. Please share with others. Rick, P.S. Save money on products and services you are already buying. Save money on groceries. Save money on gasoline. Save money on home and auto insurance. Save money shopping and cash back. Save money on cell phone services. Your choice of three gifts for completing our save survey. Welcome to our saving survey. Please introduce yourself. Claim your free gift. Your information is safe and will not be shared. Here, to learn more and get your gifts, go to gtpteamhopeministries.com.